Hello, my name is Russell Preston Brown, and I'm a senior creative director here at Adobe Systems, as well as a Photoshop evangelist on the Photoshop marketing team. In this presentation, I'm going to demonstrate some new technologies that the Photoshop team is currently working on. And in this project, I'm going to demonstrate something called Puppet Warp. Now, this is a great technology that lets you distort and warp images with extreme accuracy. Let's get started. In this particular project, you can see I have this mannequin or puppet against transparency. That seems to work best for a project like this. Okay, targeting my puppet, let's go up to my edit menu and down to this new technology called Puppet Warp right here. Now when you first bring this up, a mesh appears over your image like this. You can go in and adjust the density of the mesh. In this case, I'm going to increase the number of points to increase my accuracy. I can also turn off this mesh, in this case, so I can see my puppet more clearly. Now I can go in and lay in pins or control points within my puppet for more accurate control. And of course, the more pins I place into my puppet, the more controls I have. I can lay in each of these points just like this. Then I'm going to click here in the hand and click and drag the end point just like this. And you can see I can get this rubber-like quality by stretching and moving this hand around, just like this. But wait, if I delete this point, just like that, and go back in and control the shoulder more accurately, in this case with the Option or Alt key, I can then click and rotate around that point just like this, to have a more rigid wood-like quality to this. Let's go ahead and add some more pins or control points like this, and continue to readjust and manipulate my puppet just like this. I can go in and add additional points, twisting and turning my puppet, and in fact overlapping sections just like this. Let's go down here finally, click on this leg, and then rotate this leg once again behind the other leg. Now what if I wanted to change the order of each of these elements of this puppet? There's a great feature here that allows you to adjust the pin depth. I'm going to select this point in the leg right here, then go up here to my options bar and select this icon to send that leg behind the other leg. And of course, I can always bring it forward. So we have total control on the positioning of each one of these pins. Now finally, to close this first section off, over here under Mode, I'm going to adjust this from Normal to Distort. Now check this out. By distorting this, it seems to add muscles to my wooden model. And if I go back in, target a particular point, and then rotate it, I can actually see the muscles expand and contract. <laughs> really, really interesting. Okay, I hit my Enter key, and it resolves all of those adjustments to this first portion of my demo. Let's now move on to the second portion of my presentation that I'm calling the rope trick. In this project, I'm going to clearly demonstrate the accuracy of setting the pin depth. And of course, in this project, you can see that I have my rope against transparency, just like this. I'm going to target my rope and go back up to my Edit menu and down to Puppet Warp. Then I'm going to lay in some control points, once again, around my rope, just like this. Then I can start to move the rope and it moves as if it were a real rope. I have accurate control, just like this, bringing in these control points. Let's finally go to a point, just like this, where I can intertwine the rope and start to create a complex overlapping project, just like this. That looks great. What I can do now is to assign the depth of each one of these points. Going back in and clicking on a point, of course, I can use the controls here, in this case, to drop this point back. I can add in additional points by clicking here on the rope once again and bringing this portion of the rope forward. So I'm going under, over. I want to go under again, dropping this point back down. And then finally, to this point, let's send this final point back under, just like that. So we have this really interesting weaving of the design of this rope to create this effect. Okay, 
Moving on to something a little bit more serious that applies to graphic designers and photographers working with photography. And you've always wanted the ability to control things with accuracy. You've had a lot of ways to manipulate things and warp them in Photoshop, but this is fantastic. Here I have multiple images that have merged together in this panorama. And this problem always comes up. When you merge them, there's a little bit of distortion that you'd like to remove. If I bring in this guide and drag it down into my image like this, and in fact bring in a second guide down here to the base, you can see over here to the right that I have a bit of distortion happening. What I can do now with the Puppet Warp feature, this new technology, is go in and control this accurately with Puppet Warp. First, I'm going to go in and lay in control points here on this section of these arches and columns so that those are pinned down. Then I can go into the upper section here and lay in additional controls that I can adjust. Just like this, I can go across and lay those in. Here's a great feature, by the way. I can select multiple pins at the same time with my shift key, just like this, then use my arrow keys to accurately adjust these. As you can see here, I'm bringing them all down into position at the same time. Then I can go into each individual point, again using my arrow keys on my keyboard to adjust it. And then finally, let's go to this point on the end. If you find that you need to rotate or move them to the left or the right, of course, you can do that as well with any of your controls of your Option or Alt key and any of the arrow keys. But finally, you get this all aligned the way you like it. You hit your Enter key, and then it resolves and adjusts that. So you can see here is the before and then the after with these adjustments. So there you have it. You've seen a great collection of ways to use this new technology from the Adobe Labs for adjusting images like this, or my rope trick, or even my mannequin adjustments you saw earlier. There you have it. Thanks for listening.